Hey YouTubers, it's uh, me with a uh, sort of like a uh, custom review, uh, but it's been a while since uh, you guys have heard my voice or, you know, seen a video. I just posted up once, uh, one recently, it was the ACBA, uh, this is it video. Uh, I'm just going to do a uh, review on my new customs, uh, so enjoy. Okay, first we're going to go over the uh, first person. Uh, this person, I really, uh, I mean, I really wanted a figure of him. But, I mean, this isn't my favorite figure out of the set. But, this is a wizard from Marvel. Uh, I really wanted to make a wizard figure because of Ultimate Alliance 2. And I thought that this would be a fun project to, uh, or just like a fun make or build. So, this is what I did. Uh, standard G.I. Joe articulation, uh, he has a knife that can come out of his sheath right there, and he has this really, really nice looking gun, this is a, a Star Wars gun, it's like a gravity, like, changer gun that I sort of wanted him to have, because that's his, like, power, uh, it folds out like that, and then it could, like, it become, like, a lot smaller, more compact uh but yeah let's take that off for a second to look at his articulation on the figure okay so the figure has uh 360 degrees around the head it could go up and down it could go a uh, side to side like that so it's on a ball hinge uh it could go up that far very nicely and it could go down that much not as good it could go a uh, three it's rotating. It could rotate right there. It has a, a swivel around the elbow, and it could go down that much, which is make good because it looks like it's broken. And it could go up that much. Uh, it has a swivel right here, and that's it for that. Uh, it has a bicep joint, so it could go around like that. It could go back pretty well. It could go forward not as well. But, and it could go side to side a little bit. You have to, like, force it a little bit. And, uh, standard G.I. Joe knee legs uh, could go up and down. It could go back that much because the butt is, like, preventing it. Uh, it could go out that much. Uh, it could, it has double, uh, double jointed knees. Uh, no swivel right here. But there is a swivel at the ankle, like always on the G.I. Joe figures. Uh, and then there's a, uh, you can go down that much, which is really nice. You can go up too, but no ankle rocker because G.I. Joe figures are like that. Uh, so, yeah, this is the, uh, the first figure that I'm going to show you guys. The second figure is a lot cooler. And this is my own design for a uh, wizard. I really like it. Alright, here's Wizard. Okay, the second figure we have is uh, Scorcher. Yet again, this is my own design, and I really like this figure. I mean, I really love the way how I did it. Uh, not really accurate to the comic books, more of a, a movie-type look for him that I thought it would look really nice. Uh, not as good articulation, but, I mean, really nice-looking figure all around. I mean, he's really bulky like how he is in the comic books uh his outfit really does the job for it uh he has these gimmick uh blasters that came with uh red skull and you know the hydra like they shoot out and the other one doesn't shoot as far well, maybe they do okay so yeah, those are the, uh, the gimmicks that he has. Uh, these little pipe things are going into here to make it look like they're fire tubes. And if we, you know, if we, these are removable. As so. Like that. Up. Oh. His hand could pop off really easily. And uh, these also are removable, just uh, little tubes. So uh, let's go over the articulation on this guy. His head 
can only move side to side because of the the vest right here gives it that bulkiness uh it could go out like that and his hand just fell out again you go up that far which is really nice it could go down down to there really nice it has i mean it has a, a swivel 360 degrees uh it has a knee i mean elbow swivel again uh goes up down that far and it could go up this far which is uh really nice uh got a swivel at the wrist but like i said it's very loose on this thing on this guy uh this thing limits it but there is a uh waist joint in there uh his legs go out that much go forward that much because of this back that much double jointed uh knees and his legs could go and his feet could go at that far out and it could go up that high no ankle rocker as all the gi joe figures have but uh i really like the way how this figure came out uh i think it's just like really nice uh very nice figures to add to my collection uh now that i have a scorcher and a wizard i'm pretty happy uh, with my uh, collection right now. Uh, I'm not too crazy about the Infinite series right now. Until they come out with well, like season. Like wave 2 or 3. Because I'm not too crazy. They're just repaints and stuff of the uh, MUs. And some of them are new. I already got the Reaper. But that's the only one that I really wanted. From the line. But uh Yeah. Uh, these, this one looks really nice. Uh, I want to do a height comparison with him and Wizard. Uh, Wizard is significant, well, is taller because Scorcher is not, he can't really stand up straight. I mean, when they are, his helmet still is taller than, uh, Scorcher's, but, uh, Scorcher's way more bulky, so... Exceptional. So yeah, uh, I also let me do height comparison. Scorcher with uh, other MU figures. Let's uh, do the Spider-Man Classics Venom. I mean the Spider-Man series Venom. Taller. Let's do the uh, Marvel Universe Two Pack Spider-Man. Uh, taller. And let's do the uh, Marvel. Uh, universe Rhino. Very tall, which I like. Uh, good height comparison. Good height with this, uh, with, uh, this guy. Sorry for that. With this guy, I uh, really like it. And let's do Wizard now. Wizard with Venom. His height is a little bit more on point, I think. Same height. Let's get Spider Man in there. Uh, Wizard's taller. And then let's get them. <sighs> right. Taller, yet again. But he's closer. Than Scorcher. Uh. Like I said, uh, really nice figures. Uh, comment in. Put a comment in the dis down below to say what you think about these customs. Uh. Give me some advice on what I should do with these customs. Um, probably just gonna keep them in the collection right now, but, yeah. Okay, YouTubers, let me know what you think.